Hi, I'm Meg Major. Welcome to Industry Talk. We're here today with Steve Junquero, President and COO of Save Mart Supermarkets. Welcome, Steve. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Meg. Great to be here. Let's begin by telling us a bit about Save Mart. Well, sure. Save Mart's a privately owned company. Uh, it was started in 1952. Um, our chairman and owner, owner Bob Piccinini, is the son and nephew of the two founders of the, of the uh, company. And so we're based in Modesto, California. We now uh, have 241 stores under five different banners. And uh, uh, we've established our marketplaces uh, up and down the central California marketing area. Uh, and recently have uh, ventured into northern Nevada and, uh, and more of California. How's that going? It's going very well. We uh, doubled the size of the company in, in four years ago wow. with the acquisition of Northern California Albertson stores. Congratulations. Save Mart recently launched its first limited selection max value food store. Can you please elaborate on this new format and how it plays into Save Mart's overall strategy? Of course, prior to the acquisition uh, four years ago, we were looking at different formats, ethnic formats, limited assortment formats, gourmet formats, that type of thing. And of course, with the acquisition, those plans were put on hold. Uh, but, but as we were moving out of that transition period uh, from the acquisition, uh, we were able to get back in that, that study and, and develop a new concept, a new format uh, that really has answered the needs of our customer in that neighborhood and also the customer that, that's being developed because of the economy. And so uh, uh, Max Value is a limited assortment store. Uh, it is very focused on, on price um, and very focused on, on getting the value our customers need day in, day out. Still in the trial stages? It is. It, it is really our first, uh, first unit, and so we, we approach that as a test tube. And uh, yeah. we've made uh, a couple of major adjustments uh, to lay out traffic flow, uh, uh, signage and messaging inside the stores. So we are, are continually working at this uh, with, with the intent to roll it out to other locations, other communities, other marketplaces uh, where it makes sense. What are the other general components of Save Mart's consumer-centric focus right now? We've always uh, prided ourselves of being very involved uh, in the communities in which we serve and also the, the customers that we serve. And so we've always tried to stay in very close contact with our community and our, and our customers. Uh, we've done that just by being involved in the community. We've done that with, with customer intercepts, uh, focus groups, and now with uh, new technology, we're able to um, take a look at our, our shoppers' buying habits and really getting inside the, the buying habits of our customers uh, as we take a look at, at some of our internal data, which tells us what a basket might look like uh, what what sales uh, of one product generate uh, interest in other areas of mm -hmm. the store? Those types of things we're really uh, becoming more mature about, and using that information to really try to to serve our customer better. Excellent. Has anything come as a surprise, perhaps, um, that you've learned about customer shopper behavior that maybe you didn't know six months ago? Well, I tell you, we saw a lot of trends change as the economy started to shift. And uh, many things are very obvious, uh, but there were subtle changes in, in the ancillary movement of products based on the very obvious movement of product. Um, in many cases, uh, some of the mega trends that, that uh, were in place before the, re the recession, things like health and wellness, sustainability, organics, you would think that uh, those might be uh, under duress in this yeah. in this time frame, but actually those mega trends continue to grow, and uh, people really never never uh, put those aside. And so while customers are very focused on on um, uh, value, uh, looking for ways to stretch their dollars, they're still very concerned about their health, health and wellness, organics. Uh, some very interesting things that you can see inside a basket that, that really uh, help us uh, answer those needs. On the next episode of Industry Talk, we look at how Save Mart is building closer connections with associates while growing their culture.